Hi, I'm Nick and today I'm going to be showing you how to implement a HTML5 audio library into Edge. Okay, and I'm just going to show you the end result first. So we know what we're going to work towards. So open this up with Chrome. Okay, so the first thing that needs to be noted is that we're going to be using something called Buzz. Buzz, as it says, is a HTML5 audio library, and this is quite easy to implement inside of Edge, seeing as there is no native support for sounds. Uh, what we have, yeah, if you hover over that, a nice little sound. Okay, so if we just take note here as well. With your file extensions on your sounds, certain browsers don't actually support everything at the moment. So, I, as I'm using MP3, and that's compatible with Chrome, uh, happy days. Obviously, if we look at Firefox, no support for MP3 as of yet, and the same with Opera. So, just be aware of that. Um, the sound effects that I have got today are from freesfx.co.uk and that just requires a sign enough so go ahead and do that I've done one moment I've already got all the files here and I'll make this available for you online as well okay so this is what we want to move across and animate uh, this is our sound And this is a JavaScript for Buzz, which is downloadable from Buzz. Okay, so if you just want to download it from here, 1.05 beta, and then put that into your into this root directory. Okay, so let's open up Animate Edge. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so we'll start with a new new board. What I'm going to do here is just make it. On the left hand properties, just make it 200 high and then we'll say 990 wide. Okay, and that's going to change the stage for you. From there, we can <clears throat> click on File, click on Import, and if we go to our root folder Lesson 1, we'll import the PNG Edge. <clears throat> uh, holding Alt and Shift, we just make this a bit smaller. We want it, it will snap to the size so we can bring this over and hide this off the stage. As you can see here, <coughs> we've now got elements. We've got the edge element, which is up here, and we've also got it in our timeline. Uh, we've got auto keyframe mode off, uh, which I think that is pretty much it comes off anyway, and because I'm going to show you how to do it. <coughs> so, first things first. Is we're going to want to add an action. So insert a trigger here, and I will have this for you so you guys have links for your tutorial. Okay, this is also this can also be found here. So what we do, we're just going to copy that. And then open up Edge again, and in here, so this little icon here, double click that, and copy and paste. <coughs> I'll pay, just paste, sorry. Our sound file, if we look in our folder, is called metal.mp3. Obviously the file extension isn't too much to worry about here, so we can just put in metal. And it, obviously, if you want it in a folder, put it in a folder. So, metal. <clears throat> uh, we're not going to want it to fade in. Maybe that would be better on a longer song. And um, we're not going to want it to loop in this instance. <clears throat> then you can click X on that. And if you see the orangey yellow dot just inside of here, that means you've got the code in there, so that's fine. Uh, the next thing we want to do is going to animate this. 
So you can do it from here, but I've, I've found that I prefer to do it from here. So if we do add keyframe and location, it will add here two keyframes. This is the location of it as it is now. Okay, so if we move this along and we go to say five and a, five and a half seconds, <clears throat> and we move this, oh, sorry. And we move this across to around a central position. Then what it's going to do is create another keyframe in a different position where we, where we set it. Then what we're going to do is add another second on. If we just click here, add keyframe, it's going to add us another keyframe. And that will be at 384 again, so that's fine. There will be nothing, it will just be standard still for that amount of time. If we drag a slider across to 9, we can then move this across to fly off the screen, off the stage, and it will automatically generate that for us again. So if we just have a little look through what this is doing now. <coughs> if we want, we can just stop that from playing, and we can move this so it flies up a little bit quicker. Okay, so we're going along, it's moving it for you, we stop in there, and then just fly it off. Okay, what you will notice is when we press play here, it won't play any sounds yet. And if you try and preview it in browser now, it still won't play any, any sounds. <clears throat> what we've got to make sure we do, so let's save this out now. So we save that in lesson one. And then we're going to call this, call it index. Just for now. And click save. Okay, so. Upon saving that, what it has done is created index.an, which is obviously for your edge. The HTML file for it. And a few other JavaScripty things. Okay, so what we can do now, if we open index.html in Dreamweaver, text editor, whatever you've got. And then what we're going to do is paste this little line of code here, which basically uses the JavaScript from Buzz, and we're going to paste it in the head, just there. Okay. What that does is enables the browser to use the JavaScript file created by Buzz, and then we're going to save that. I'll save. Okay. So now what we can do is just test that all this is working and open index.html with your preferred browser. I'm going to say Google Chrome. <clears throat> okay, and there you have it. We've got we've got an animated icon. We're using an external JavaScript HTML5 audio library. And that's it. Easy. Hope you enjoyed it. And check back for more tutorials.